this is not going to be my normal content. This is just a video that I feel like I need to do. And obviously Oreo is here. Um, but basically, I just need to run. So I was having an amazing August. Like, everything was actually going pretty well for me. I got a boyfriend. Um, <clears throat> well, he started dating on the 31st of july but I, I, I had a boyfriend i went on holiday with my dad and it was actually great which is so weird because whenever i go on holiday with my dad we'll always argue about something really petty and we actually didn't and i also partially came out to him saying that i'm bi even though i'm more queer than bi but bi is an easier label for him to understand um and everything was going really well i did really well in my gcses and life was pretty amazing and then shit happened. And now life isn't amazing. <laughs> so for about a week, my guinea pig got ill. We don't know what with. Um, but she stopped eating for a while. She wasn't drinking. She wasn't squeaking. And if she was, it was really quiet. Like she'd lost her voice. And she was just really down. Um, we only have one guinea pig at the minute because the other one died like two years ago but it, because it was during covid and lockdown we couldn't get a new one at the time so I guinea pig had adjusted to being alone and by the time we came out of lockdown there was just no point and she's doing fine on her own um but she became really ill and my mum and I were so stressed we didn't know what was going on um she wouldn't really leave her house she really wouldn't eat much we thought she was deaf and blind for a little bit because the usual things that would tell her that there will be food didn't excite her like they used to and when we gave her food she looked in the opposite direction to where the food was and normally she knows where it is but she's gotten better now she's so much better she's so much perkier but that was a big worry of the month or the week and another shitty thing that happened was I lost my job and the reason behind it was because I had a shitty attitude and I didn't smile and I'm not gonna argue with it my attitude wasn't amazing because half the time I was drained and my mental health at the whole three months of having that job was never great um and it still isn't perfect but it's better in a sense um so that fucking sucked because he didn't give me the proper reasons my mom had to go in and fucking interrogate him about it but then we shit talked about him for four hours with some of my mom's mates from the pub while i held the most adorable puppy picture appearing and oh my god hercules his he was 10 weeks when that picture was taken and oh my god he is so cute um but then that was also really upsetting news. Um, but I didn't have enough tears to cry about that because I spent all of them crying about losing my fucking job because I got told I had a confidence issue and that's not something you tell a socially awkward person who has quite severe social anxiety. That's not something you tell... That's not someone, something you tell a teenager or anyone, to be honest. You don't tell someone they have a confidence issue. Um, but... One of my mum's pub mates' dog got really ill. Um, we only found out a few days ago when we were shit-talking a boss, which cheered him up a lot because he was really fucking down. Um, but she'd been having seizures, she couldn't walk properly, she'd been off her food, and so he was having to pay over a £1,000 for her to stay overnight at the emergency vets because he was so worried um and then the next day my mom was checking how everything was and i came downstairs and the first thing that i got told at 10 in the morning was that she died the night before and she was five which is quite young for a dog i'll put a picture on the screen of her now she's a pug shih tzu called lola and she was only five and she was a feisty little bitch but we all loved her and i've known her since she was a puppy even though when i first met her she scared the shit out of me but i knew her since she was a puppy so it was heartbreaking news for everyone um so when i went into town with my boyfriend um a couple of days ago i got him and my boyfriend um lola's owner 
a key ring and it's just this poor pink key ring we haven't seen him around yet even though he lives across the road we just haven't been able to catch him when he's at home so i haven't been able to give it to him yet but i'm gonna give him this as we are quite close friends with him so it isn't a weird thing for me to give him a gift and next time we see him we will try and cheer him up because that's she fucking is um so what's going on at the minute is my mum and i are currently looking for a job i'm having to do a load of transition work before getting into college or going to college though i did get into the college i wanted to do a levels um i'm doing sociology psychology and law which is going to be so much stress but i really want to do them so yeah um and something that did really cheer me up because my boyfriend knew that i've been having a really shitty week what was shitty last month um there's a tiktok about it which i will put on the screen at probably the end of this video but um he knew that i'd been having a really shitty time and so when i went round to his yesterday which was the 31st of august she said one month because i'm filming this on the 1st of september um he told me to go into his room i was freaked originally um and then i went in and i saw oreo and i didn't originally know that he was for me but i immediately picked him up and hugged him and i almost broke down in my boyfriend's arms <laughs> so oreo is now my little emotional support panda um yeah yeah so that was my little rant um life's not amazing currently but it's better than it has been the past week or so um and i'm much happier than i have been in a little while um so yeah see you on the next one